Hell right, greetings and salutations. My name is Comic Fire, and welcome back for more Shin Megami Tensei Digital Devil Saga. In the last episode, we watched a cutscene of the game pretty much earning its M rating. And in this episode, now we're taking on Asura Usas. She's got about 2,000 HP from what I've come to understand. Is she a difficult boss? Not particularly. However, Surf and Argilla hit level 20, and their karma reached their, its final plane, so they get 8 skills. So tear it up, baby. That skill just makes me giggle. It's a little silly. Uh, I'm actually in a decent way, I'm not gonna heal quite yet. Alright, now I want to heal. Let's get a uh, Medea going. Alright, now is when we're in a slight of trouble. This is also why I level. I got heat up to finish that Angel Monster, and he got Void Expel, because this boss loves its Expel skills. Don't bother taking... Don't bother, uh, trying to fight the Unicorns. She'll just, uh, bring a few more up, and then you're really just in the same spot you started out in, just with a few less HP. And MP. This is why you want Void Expel. Because that's going to take off about 90% of your HP, and it's very difficult to win without it. I did it my first time, but boy howdy, it wasn't easy. Then I just put it on Heat, because... Wanted Argilla to be able to focus on casting Medea and Void Expel if need be. I mean, I didn't want her wasting her time with Void Expel when she needed to be healing. Everyone's got their use in this fight. After all, this isn't Final Fantasy. We don't get four characters to play around with. Or five if you're playing FF4. I'm gonna try not to play FF4 too much. It's not really that cool. As you can see, once you got Void Expel, the fight becomes much easier. Since they're wasting all their press turns trying to cast Sarah Floor, and it's not working. Much easier than Kamazots was. And really, once you have the right precautions, bosses that focus on casting one element exclusively like this are pretty easy to take down. Assuming you know what's up. Oh dear. Okay, that could have been bad. I don't need my main nuke failing on me here. And Usas is down! Poor Janana. Janana. You three are strong. There's a girl at our base who can help you control this power. It won't be like this anymore. You and I get along, don't we? I'm sure the others will like you as well. Come with us, okay? 
okay? Come and see Sarah, please. Your eyes... Those are... They must be... Tears. I... I don't know why... They keep coming. I can't stop, Janela. Argilla, do not be sad. Finally, I have become your comrade. Comrade? Yes. Your comrade. <laughs> Saying it feels right. Devour her. We're finding Mick. Nirvana's supposed to be paradise, right? We'll return to normal. Nobody will suffer like this anymore. That's it. I'm tired of this place. What a waste. Little cliffhanger bits. Eh, everyone's doing fine. Where are my party members? I wish to have a nice conversation with them. Feels nice though. We can just kind of walk in the front door now. Oh well. I'm not sure how we're supposed to know where to go next. No. I do remember a cutscene telling me where to go. So. Oh, now we can't even go in the front door anymore. You're a hungry man, ain't you, Heat? didn't mess something up. said something unusual. That you were in danger. Sarah said that? But how? She couldn't have known. What transpired? I see. We have failed. But let us devise a new plan. Plan? 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 <laughs> How can you be like that? Our comrade died. Comrade? I do not comprehend. Just ignore her. She's just pissed because her girlfriend got killed. What is pissed? Her girlfriend? Hmm. We're going after Mick. Don't try to stop us. You have a point. I believe it may still be feasible now that he has left the Citadel. This is acceptable. I will now accompany you. And Gale, join the party! So let's set up what's probably my favorite setup in the game. Party-wise. 
Surf, Gale, Argilla. And I'm never using Heat again. Not kidding. Heat's... To me, Heat's dead. Never using him again. So let's see what skills he's come, he comes with. with. Gale is based on Force, so he's already got the Zanma skill, which is pretty damn sweet. He's got Shockwave, Force Repel, Mudo, he's also got Death, and Quick Escape, so now we don't really have to worry about escaping too often. He's got a few decent hunt skills. Get that Force boost going. And Void Force. Alright, we're doing pretty good for ourselves. Well, you say there's little reason, and I say experience points. I don't know. I don't know CLO too well. I don't think I've ever went through this entrance. I only think it's an entrance I want to be in, but hey, free things! We get a revival gem, that's always nice. And it appears this is the only reason this exists, because all those doors are locked. Well, hey, I don't mind a free, uh. free things. I can dig that. I'm on that. I'm about that life. Alright, so now let's just stroll in the front door and kick Mick's ass. First, I'd like to heal and save. Because we're not in tip-top condition. And I'd certainly like to be. Let's see what other mantras Gale has going on. See if he's in the midst of something. No, he's just mastered he ten. Oh, wow. A lot of mantras. I don't know if I covered Matama. It just makes it so... Like, right now, since Heat isn't in the party, if I gave him shared karma, he'd still get experience. And Hades gets us Rakarm, but Revival Gems do the job better. I don't like the Revival skills. Now, we can put it on Sky Dragons, we can get Mazanma, but... I don't know if I quite want to do that yet. But I also don't think I really want to put him down, uh... This place yet. If anything, I dare say that putting him down Sky Dragon is the best option we have. Even if it did just make us poor. It's not like anyone else is close to mastering a mantra yet. Especially since now I don't have to worry about spending money on HEAT! Haha! <laughs> That's starting to look like a nice full party. Alright, now let's kick some ass. Still tightly shut. Bye, Kelpie. Wow. That wasn't a waste of time. These are pretty early game enemies. They're obviously in awe of our skill. Aw, what a polite person leading us right to them. Or maybe they're leading us to an ambush. I'm cool with it either way. There we go, that's more our speed. Let's get Turdok out of the way. I hate Turdok. Gale is cool. Just pass it along. Now, Gale's stat build is more of a balanced thing. It's going to try to go equally between pretty much everything. I'm fine with that, I guess. I just like Gale. He's cool. He doesn't comprehend much, but he doesn't have to. He's got green hair. 
I always like the four space spells. I don't know, because that wasn't entirely obvious. I'm getting tired of this random encounter rate. See, I don't see where they're going to make us fight a random encounter if nothing's going to come out of it. Alright, Mick, your ass is grass. What's up with these guys? Where the hell is Mick? They are not attacking. This is a diversion. A diversion? What do you mean? We're outnumbered! Again, dumbass. Bastard. I understand. This was a trap. Ah, oh God, I hate this fight in particular. I watched my Strange Journey LP, this is the fight that made me hate Baphomet. It's that annoying noise they make. Pisses me off beyond, like, more than it should. Anyway, let's get Void Death going, because boy howdy, they love spamming Mudo, and I think they even have Ma Mudo, which is, you know, a party hitting death spell. You know, the best kind. first time I fought this, I just let them constantly mudo my party members until I realized, hey, wait a minute, I'm packing Void Death. It's nice how they prepared us for this. Well, not much we can do. So let's just get a Bafula going. Now, once the Baphomets are dead, he's not going to summon more, so go wild. That's about the time I wish I had Tarazi or something, but... Oh well. Let's go for a Mabufu. Okay. Didn't do half as much as I wanted to. No instant death? That's cool. Just keep it going, Terra! At least the Baphomet's about to die. And I guess if I had heat, I could have been casting a Hama on these guys, because I bet you that they're weak to that. Not a whole lot to say. There's one. I 
I guess if you wanted to, you could get everyone at least into mastering Terra so they could just bombard Kamazots with it. Not even have to worry about the Baphomets besides getting up an instant death shield. Other than that... See, even Kamazots is almost dead and I haven't even taken much of a hit. I force repel, that's why I didn't have Void Force on. Force repel is a very useful skill against a certain boss coming up. Not anytime soon, but... He's in the game, so he's coming up, isn't he? You see, there we go, we're getting the Void Earth on. That's a smarter idea. Alright, not digging the Void Earth. He's probably doing that because he's about to die! Which is a smart move. After all, we've got death sh we've got shields. You've got shields. She's got shields. Brook shields. I hey, avoid expel. Ooh, Mudo on. It's a really powerful death spell. I think standard Mudo has a 20% chance of working. And Mudo on is like a 40% chance. Boy, this episode's just full of easy boss fights. What the hell is going on? <laughs> You're too late. That stupid girl's in Nick's hands by now. How do you know about Sarah? <laughs> There's a girl at our base who can help you control this power. Come with us. Come and see Sarah, please. You son of a... They are a step ahead of us. If they know that much. They are planning to neutralize us using Sarah's power. How do you know that? Don't tell me that you... It is logical. She's just a girl who can sing. How dare you drag her into this mess? I do not comprehend. Logic demands the most efficient response to... No! Not right! I'll taste your flesh one day, woman! It may be too late, but we should return to base. Why didn't we just follow Heed? Now we essentially have to go through the same dungeon twice. Uh, oh well. If it was that easy, it wouldn't be Megami Tensei. Except we don't actually have to do any of that, because we finally found out what that locked door was for. Sweet. Oh. You bastards. 
hate everything about you. Well, at least we haven't been getting into any random encounters. Right? Huh? Hmm. Ooh, a rejuvenating light. It's a free healing terminal. Can't beat that. Are you seriously just gonna make us go through the same old boring boss f I mean, not boss fights, but... Oh, these were actually... Oh, I see what it was. They just ran away because they were trying to ambush us into getting into a little scrap with Kamazots. Wait, is this all that there's that there is here? Oh, I see your game. Do it again! Burn it! Burn it all! Do it again, you say? Okay! Whatever you wish, my friend. Maragi! Even more? Ho <laughs> ho! Light it all up! Tender! Tender! <laughs> Burn! And kick you in the throat, and then slap you. that would have given a little more, uh, EXP. You think. But you wouldn't necessarily know. What's in here? I have a feeling it's treasure. Or another path. Hmm. I know what this is, and I don't want to get into it. Not yet. I'll come back. I'm not mistaken, these people resist fire, so I'm not going to use fire. Eh, whatever. Burn it all! And my burning of it all has cost me dearly. Because so I just got hit with a power wave. And a second one of those things. Mabufu. Chill out. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Ha 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 ha! Cool, didn't work. This repel doesn't bother me, because I wasn't going to go for it anyway. That death flow seems a little OP. So let's just get the hell out. I love it. So good to me. Love it. So good to me. Anyway, I'm going to end the episode here. I'll see you guys next time.